Good evening and welcome to the Whiskey Lover Society with me Gerd Retief. And today we are looking at Bushmills Classic Irish Whiskey, triple distilled, bottled at 40% ABV, no age statement whiskey, um, colored probably, and it is uh, chill filtered. Um, for another review, I did the Black Bush not so long ago, so I will also uh, do a little bit of a comparison between the two. So let's start with the Bushmills, the classic one. I poured it about 20 minutes ago. Um, quite light in color. So um, not going to be a long review. So on the nose. It's um, quite fruity, uh, very light uh, fruit. A little bit of a vanilla notes coming through, which is quite pleasant. A little bit of the red apples, um, quite similar to that of the uh, black bush. So it's quite, quite pleasant on the nose. And a little bit of a cinnamon is, is, is also present. So on the nose, like the black bush, is, um, it's pleasant. And um, I hope that, contrary to the black bush, that it will translate into a little bit more special than the black bush. So, cheers. <clears throat> the sweetness is there, um, but not overly sweet, but a nice, nice sweetness. The vanilla, a little bit in the background. Um, a hint of um, a ripe pears for me. A little bit of a... Um, a cider note, uh, apple cider, so uh, quite, quite pleasant. Um, but it's like only for the first two seconds, and then the oak kicks in. And like the black bush, it is quite uh, bitter. So um, yeah, it's 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 not a fantastic whiskey. It is a budget whiskey, and you can definitely taste it. Uh, also again for me where the oak comes from, uh, that's, uh, it is incredibly oaky. <coughs> On the second taste, um, sweetness, immediately the oak kicks in. Um, if I I've also have the black bush, also poured about 15 minutes ago just to give it a little bit of a comparison. Now, instantly for me, um, if you look at color-wise, um, the black bush is definitely a little bit uh, darker for me. Um, more, um, more strength, um, a little bit sweeter, I think especially on the nose, it's a deeper, richer um, nose to it. The um, pepper notes are also for me a little bit stronger. It's more, in, more intense for me. The vanilla is also a little bit more prominent. Yeah, fruity notes also definitely a little bit more richer. <coughs> also the um, red apples I get on the taste. Mm. Lots more oak. 
definitely a loads and loads of oak in it. Um, but flavor wise, I think it is exactly the same thing. Um, if I don't know if that makes sense. Um, if I compare the two, the um, classic bush mold, <clears throat> it's like uh, taking the, the black bush, adding some water, and you get the same thing. A little bit watered down. So, both for me um, feels like it's the same thing, but it's a little bit watered down. So, is it a good buy? Uh, it's cheap, I think there's about 20 odd euros per bottle. So it's, um, if you like the oak, definitely buy any, any one of them. Um, you're not going to be disappointed. Um, if you compare the nose to the taste, big difference. Um, not much in it. Um, this one is definitely a little bit more, more oomph than, than, than the classic. So, would I buy it again? Definitely not. Um, it's not my cup of tea. As I say, so score wise, I think for, for this one, I will give it a, a 75 out of 100. And um, I will definitely, if I have to drink it, I will drink it in a cocktail. So, thank you very much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.